Well, masks come in all different styles and materials, but how about strapless? While a local doctor duo are not the first to invent strapless masks, they say theirs are looking out for Rhode Islanders and businesses. Eyewitness News reporter Courtney Carter has the story that's new at 530. So it goes like this. There's tape on each side that you just take off and then you just stick it on your face. And the local doctors that made these masks say they're game changers for local businesses. Dr. Aaron Singh, a retired Rhode Island surgeon, says masks are going to be around for a while. So his thought, you might as well make them more comfortable. Masks will be a part of our daily suit, a daily dress. I've been wearing a mask for more than 50 years. I'm a heart surgeon, so I started wearing a mask in medical school in the 60s. Every mask is more uncomfortable. And so Singh and his friend cardiologist Neil Brandon teamed up to create a strapless mask, linking up with Response Technologies factory in Coventry for their mission. The factory already manufacturing traditional masks say they were thrilled to jump on board. The doctor found us uh, through uh, REMA, Rhode Island Manufacturing Association. Uh, Dr. Brandon and I met. He, we hit it off nicely. We both have a uh, uh, innovative uh, kindred spirit. And they say it's good to wear at any time, but especially when a man or woman is in a hair salon or barber shop. Brandon says they have already sold many to local salons, but there is one loophole for these masks. You can't have facial hair. You, you, can't, have a, uh, you can't have a beard, uh, but they'll, they'll last for days. They are comfortable. They're particularly good for those people who might go to a beautician or uh, for cut and color. Especially you go to a barber shop or somewhere else, it's always good because you have to take the strap out and hold with the hand. So what do you do? Now these masks have just started being sold online and if you're interested in one, you can head to WPRI.com to find out where to get it. I'm Courtney Carter, Eyewitness News.